Hello everybody and welcome back to another The Leftovers episode. This is season 2, episode 2, A Matter of Geography. And remember that this reaction is going to be full and up on my Patreon page. If you're interested, the link is going to be in the description box. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of a background here. Good, because suddenly moving to another town and having these douchey neighbors. I mean, no, the wife was... Okay. The husband? Mm-mm. -mm. We're keeping it, right? Like it's a dog. Here for us? Like a cat. A stray cat. Oh, we're keeping her, right? We don't really know each other. Oh, he thinks he want she wanted to move in with him. Honey, I was okay. living. Been walking in my sleep. Doing bad shit. And not even the daughter knows this. And she killed herself. Are you sure you wanna keep the baby so in I this crazy family? Right? She's just like... Mm -hmm. I hire prostitutes to shoot me. Now that we're sharing, are they seriously bonding okay. with this? It's, okay. it's just creepy. It's okay. You don't know for sure that he didn't kill Patty. Watch, say something crazy now. <laughs> right? We know he didn't kill her, but it, it's fucking suspicious. That's more like it, a song for jogging. He's doing laundry to this song. But he jogs for the ballad. What? <laughs> he doesn't know how to be a father anymore. Hello? Well, to a baby. Huh? Or to One an second. adult. Where's Tommy? Is it gonna happen again? Uh uh. It was just her and her car seat. No idea who left her there. No. Oh my god, his son so did that. I was. I, I took a leave. In the event of a separation, who would take care of the child? We're not going to separate. But if you did, who we're would not. Take... There is a possibility, though. They should think about that. One month old, adorable. He's white, though. He's white, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, they deserve to be happy. Why did they have to move next door to a crazy killer? Oh, I didn't like that face. He's having second thoughts. He didn't want to commit. Like, he wanted to quit his family before the departure thing. He's gonna want to quit this one again. I think he should really go to therapy. Therapy. He's not gonna... Unbury the body, is he? Out of all the bad ideas in the world, why this one? He doesn't have the body there, does he? Oh my god, what the fuck? I ordered you a cheeseburger. <laughs> Not as cute as he used to be. I mean, he's still cute. Still can't forget the picture of his penis. But uh, despite that, he is cute. It's August. Dad and Nora adopted the baby. She knows! We're all okay. That's good for you. You could be okay I with us. Can you eat the burger? The burger, though. She's there. This whole time, she was mourning the loss of the baby who wasn't even born and shit. She's got two that are alive and needed her. Especially her, she was very young. Uh, the bitch, forgot her Hello? name. Nora. Mike from Century. Like, right here. Fucking sell it, don't ask questions. Go on with your life. But I was here with them. If you sell us your house, we'll be one step closer to answering that. Then what? Oh my god, so the girl! If you're right, then what? what I don't care how you knew where she was buried or why you dug her up, because I don't care about her. Is it that easy? So she killed herself. The world spins on. Good riddance, Patricia. We hardly fucking knew you. <laughs> Do you want to blow your life up? What? Do you Over want Over someone like to Patty? Blow your life up. He does, though. Why else then? Wanna get caught? Kevin Garvey. 
Hello. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. I'm glad we're gonna continue seeing her though. The actress. Oh, I still like Lauren. It's not Just her like fault that she went Lauren. crazy. Try not to drive her into a fucking cult. <laughs> 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 Pretty convincing. For him to stop being crazy, what? he needed to you. make Kevin accept. Pretty normal. The voices and everything. You blind me? Not. I could start it up again. And this is why I didn't like the guilty remnant people. And they just sat that around and cried. Daily cut spinach. And can I um, get that without the brittleness, the bite? That's not technically a substitution. <laughs> <laughs> she just likes to be a pain in the ass. They'll set your vehicle up with some stickers so you can drive on into town. Okay? Great. Thank you so, so much. It's so fucking weird in Welcome this town. To miracle. That's crazy. Like, why would they do all this? And just because they didn't have one departure in this town. It's like, we're so fucking important. Like, no. I don't know, I don't like them. I don't like this town. Let's go back to New York, please. Sir, you're gonna need to take that animal to quarantine if you're going into town. What? No, no one told us there was a quarantine. Sir, it's right over there. Rules are rules. Alright. For dog, um, though. I'll take him. I'll stay with him if you want. Please do. Maybe don't kill him. Talk to him. I think she's buying a house. Five hundred thousand dollars, but twenty-five where? Five hundred, but you can buy a four now. Yeah, but you want to live here, bud? buddy? Buddy? Three million dollars. Oh my God, the three million dollars! They could have moved anywhere, but I bet that because this is the off. miracle and shit and whatever this other person told her the about the place and the back. geography and the departures. Too tight. No, it's fine. It's fine. That's why she What's wanted this town. What if the house needs fixing and they spend three million dollars in it? Where does he poops <laughs> and pees? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's trying to take did. her. Hi, Mary. How are you? Very polite of you to ask, knowing that she can't answer. We were hoping we could stay with you guys tonight. Oh, sure, of course. There's we no fucking a space? Short of space. Oh, so you two bury a body together and now you got each other's backs, huh? <laughs> oh, to quiet the voices. Oh my god. This is a dump. Three million dollars, y'all. She can touch him? Such a fucking idiot. Is that because there's no water on the floor? <laughs> oh god. Put that on my head. It'll clear my out. Sink. Um, she has epilepsy. This That's not doesn't her. happen unless she forgets to take her meds. Sorry. Epilepsy works, right? They just no, 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 no. they it's, don't uh, just I, like I blank it. away. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's just a light bulb. No, it's not just a light bulb, the whole fucking house. There's a part of Kevin you've never seen before. Welcome to the family. She needs to be here because it makes her feel safe. I can't believe she understand, understands and he doesn't. Else. Please don't fuck this up, Dad. <laughs> I'm so weak. It's not gonna happen again. But it will. It will happen again. If there's something you want to tell me, whatever it is, I can handle it. I'm living your ass. <laughs> oh my god. You were meant to fucking die. And apparently disappear. Freaking neighbor's gonna get here. So I'm guessing that for the dad to get better he had to convince kevin to accept the voices or something because he got better no he said he started doing what the voices were telling him to what the hell happened i don't think i don't think patty just tied a freaking 
brick in his ankle and dropped him into the lake so what the how the how the hell did he get there did he do it himself that like did he want to die because i don't think patty did it she just wants him to pay attention to her to talk to her probably the same thing that was happening to the dad the, the, the voices want him to do what they want and killing by killing him that wouldn't happen or something i don't know oh my god this is so fucking confusing like we have all these questions from season one that we brought here with us to season two and now we even get more questions because what the fuck just happened what what, what? anyways thank you for watching this episode with me and as always i'm seramiano and i'll see you in my next video i am peter pan i'll never be a man if you never want to grow take my hand i'll take you to